Hello and welcome to another episode of WebInformant.tv. I'm David Strom, your host and reviewer. Today we look at the endpoint security product Storm Shield from Sky Recon. There are two parts to the product, server components that you're looking at here, and agents that run on each endpoint. The product has three different functional groupings that might take some getting used to. Networks, security policies, and scripts. Networks are groups of similar PCs or users that will share a collection of conditions, such as all remote users or all users that don't have a valid Active Directory account. For each condition that's specified in this screen, you can create separate security policy with a policy editor. General settings here list a number of controls, and there are scripts that are used to test for particular conditions, such as whether the agent is connected to the management server or if the endpoint is in compliance with the policies. Here you see a simple script that's used to determine if a user is running solitaire, which you get by going to the scripts and then the batches in the script editor. Let's look at the policy editor in more detail because this is where you're going to spend most of your management time in setting things up. If you've set up firewalls with another product, this will be familiar. Here's what Sky Recon's firewall setup looks like. Let's say I want users to connect their iPods, but not to download or purchase any music. I would go into this screen to create a special rule for iPods. How about if I want to block a particular application, such as MS Paint, for our example? Go into Applications Rules and Applications and set the screen up accordingly. And I can double click on particular entries here, change it from green checks to allow to red X's to deny, and further specify particular protocols or port numbers, collection of files, whether the application can access the Windows registry, and how the event should be logged. What are things I like the most? First off, you have a lot of granular control over endpoint policies and components. For example, I have several different categories of USB devices, and some products only discern USB keyboards and mice. Secondly, there's a lot of granular support for Wi-Fi connections. These are set up in two places. First, under the specific Wi-Fi settings, I can choose my encryption policies, and I can also add particular SSIDs to a whitelist or block a bl particular ones for a blacklist in this other screen. Finally, product also offers on-the-fly disk encryption that can be centrally managed for an additional cost option. There are a few issues I have with the product. First, on the agent screen here, it only supports Windows 2000 SP4 and XP, as well as Windows Server Platforms 2003-2008. That's a limitation if you've got a mixed network. Secondly, the logging is somewhat verbose. There are four events on the agent side that just indicate that the endpoint is connected and configured properly. And at the bottom of the agent log screen, you'll see these four REN entries here. That's just normal behavior before the agent synchronize with the console. And while this screen here shows you the status of each endpoint, if you've got hundreds or thousands of them, you're going to have to use the filters at the bottom of the screen to drill down to their status further. Finally, the product uses an embedded version of SQL Server to maintain its database of policies and machines. Here you see the little icon. More importantly, you need to remember to do a checkout and check in whenever you make changes at the console configuration. The right mouse brings up this menu and you can see what you have to do. In summary, Storm Shield puts a lot of different protective measures into a single agent. If you've just got Windows 2000 and XP desktop machines on your network, it's a good addition to your security toolbox. Thanks for watching webinformant.tv. This is David Strom. Feel free to email me at david at strom.com for your feedback.